Hi guys, welcome to Lee's Kitchen. So today we'll be showing you how to make Biscoff cheesecake. So let's start it. So you will need cream cheese, milk made, vanilla essence, butter, cinnamon powder, icing sugar, and Biscoff biscuits. So I'll be using a six inch pan. So you can use any pan you have at home. Since I don't have a spring foam pan, I'm using, I'm gonna use a foil to it and make sure it's very well sealed and I'm, I'm using 150 grams of biscuits and I'm gonna make sure it's blended finely so if you don't have a blender you can even use a rolling pin to crush your biscuits or you can just smash the biscuit packet so as you can see we are looking for a fine texture like like this like in the video and put it to a bowl and make sure you melt your butter and add 70 grams of butter to your biscuit base and just give it a nice mix with your hands so I'm making sure there are no lumps in it so if you have lumps you can always crush it from your hand so that's why I'm using my hands for this process and then I'm adding 30 grams of icing sugar and just giving a good mix so I'm gonna do a, use a half a quantity to my biscuit base so the other half I'm gonna leave it aside I'm gonna use it later on so add the mixture evenly and spread it out make sure you use your hand and press it gently you can even use a spoon to this process to make it flat and even so I'm gonna preheat the oven to 160 celsius I'm gonna bake this base till nice crispy and golden brown color so you can use any domestic oven at home and make sure you bake it for like around 12 minutes so we are looking for a perfect nice crusty golden brown color so to my mixing bowl I'm gonna add 200 grams of cream cheese along with 20 grams of vanilla essence and 4 grams of cinnamon powder and I'm gonna use two full spoons of Biscoff uh, crunchy spread the reason I'm using crunchy spread is to get a nice flavor so it has that nice crunchy flavor to it so that goes in and I'm using the pedal whisk and just giving it a, a nice mix at speed 1 and once it's all cooperated, I'm gonna mix it in speed 3. So in this process, make sure the cream cheese is well beaten. Because you don't want any lumps. So as you can see, I'm using both spreads over here. So the crunchy spread I'm using only for the batter and the spread I'm planning to use it only for the top so now I'm just gonna scrape the sides so beat it again till the mixture is very creamy make sure there are no lumps in it so I'm mixing at speed 3 as you can see so I'm scraping it again so this stage is very very important in this process you need to keep on scraping or as you will see a lot of lumps in your batter so I'm pretty sure you don't want any lumps in your cake bat mixture you can actually do this process even with a hand beater as well so right now I'm gonna scale 120 grams of milk made and add gradually while mixing So if you actually plan to do a double in quantity, like I prefer 9 inch pan would be really suitable for this. So my recipe is on the description below, so you can check it out. And you can double the quantity if you are making to a 9 inch pan. Add the remaining milk made quantity to the mixture and make sure you beat it well in speed 3. You can even beat it at speed 4, speed 5 if you have, but I prefer speed 3 is the best. 
the reason I'm telling you to see that speed 3 is because it's not too fast, not too slow, it's right in the middle. As you can see, we have got the perfect texture what we are looking for. You can see it's, it's nice and smooth, creamy. And now we, we are, we are going to transfer it to a bowl. So, my oven is done. So, I'm just going to take it out and see if it's perfect or not. It has been 12 minutes already and it looks perfect. So, this is the texture I'm looking for. And just leave it to cool completely. So, you can add the whipped cream to your mixing bowl. Actually, you don't have to wash the mixing bowl at all. Since you are anyway mixing it with the, the same batter. And make sure you whip it in, at high speed. Now I'm looking for a soft peak stage. I hope you guys know what soft peak stage is. So as you can see over here. It's light and aerated. So once you can see all the swirls, stop it and then you can fold your mixture to your whipped cream. And in, in this process, make sure you fold it gently. Do not over mix it. And then you can add your crumbs, the remaining crumbs to the mixture and fold it again. So I'm pretty sure you get a nice flavor to it because there's buttery, icing sugar, that sweetness is also there and it's not only smooth so you get those pieces as well you know eating it. Remember if you don't have the biscoff crunchy spread you can always make the cheesecake with the whatever you have. You can use the normal spread or you can even add the biscuits. Pour the mixture to the cheesecake base and spread it evenly and you can even smooth it out with a spatula if you have or you can even use a blended palette knife or you can even use a spoon and then you need to leave it in the fridge overnight or maybe five hours I prefer overnight always and then take it out once it's set you remove the foil carefully and place it on top of the cake board and you can use a carving knife or any knife and make sure you Run it around. If you have a blowtorch, you can even use the blowtorch as well. And remove it nicely. There you go. So now you can get the biscoff spread. Add two tablespoons of biscoff spread and microwave it for 20 to 30 seconds and you're looking for this consistency as you can see it's like needs to be like pouring consistency and pour it to the center and from your spoon just take it to the edges so you get that drip effect Whip some whipped cream and pipe process on top. You can come up with any decoration you like, so be creative. So I have come to the final part now. I'm just gonna place some lotus biscuits on top as a garnish. If you have any questions about this cheesecake, you can always comment below. So I will definitely reply to you. And just let me know how, how it turns out. Wow, it's so good. You should definitely try this. Yeah, so guys, make sure you subscribe 
and like my channel. I'll see you next week.